And welcome back. Whether it's a headache, allergy, or upset stomach, who knows best how to treat what ails you, your doctor or possibly Mother Nature. In some cases, natural remedies can be healthier than what's in your medicine cabinet. And Terry Trespicio is senior editor of Body and Soul magazine, and she's here with some surprising alternative cures. Terry, good to see you again. Hey, how are you? you? Body and Soul, great Anita Baker song as well. Um, <laughs> let's start with Tiger Balm here for headaches, correct? This is what Well, we Tiger Balm, you might know, is something that's good for sore muscles as well. It has camphor and menthol in it, which is a topical analgesic. If you have a headache, you want to try it, try it on your temples and um, or on your neck, and actually that warm, tingly feeling can help relieve a, t a headache. I'll quickly. tell you, college, pulled hamstrings. Yep, right. I it's mean, good for a couple things. Awesome stuff. Now what do we have next? Now here we have for arthritis pain. Yeah. Now a lot of people suffering from arthritis pain have to take all kinds of medicine. If you take uh, fish oil capsules, mm -hmm. omega-3 rich fish oils, can ha they're an anti-inflammatory and they can ease some of the stiff and tenderness of joints. So you want to talk to your doctor though, especially if you're taking other medications. How many would you actually need? I mean, well you'd want to talk to your doctor about a specific really? dosage for you. Okay. Yep. Moving on here. Moving on here to cold and flu. And uh, elderberry syrup, which comes from the elder tree, the berries, mm -hmm. makes a delicious syrup. This stuff is really yummy. Yeah. The, what you want to do the is... Just, take it. It's medicine that actually tastes good. It tastes really, really good, yes. And um, what you want to do is take it at the first sign of a cold or flu. And what it does is research shows that it helps reduce the intensity and duration of a cold. Really? But it, yep. I'm sorry. You're also recommending garlic as garlic, well? Garlic, yeah. Can you combine the two? I, yeah, of course, yes. What's really great about garlic is it's a very, very potent antiviral. Yeah. And so what you do is you chop it up, mince it up, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, down the hatch. Really? Straight, raw. It's, a, it's really powerful at fighting germs and cold and flu and all that kind of thing. So swallow it or you can lightly saute it, get it into a lot of different foods. And then just make sure you don't have to talk or kiss anyone well, for about a week. Well, do yourself and your family a favor. Don't chew it. Yeah. Just swallow it. So just making a necklace of it doesn't actually work. No, actually, no, no. Yeah. you got to get it down into okay. your gut. Yeah. The next thing we're going to talk about here is for if you've got a cough. Okay. Now this is eucalyptus oil. You want to do a couple drops into um, some hot water. And then what you do is you're just going to create a steam. Just put your head over it, breathe in. Be careful not to burn yourself, of course. Yeah. But what that does is loosen up the phlegm in your chest and give your cough more productivity. It smells actually pretty good. Too. It does smell good, yeah. so it's good for that. Yeah, I smell too. That's the first part of the cough. Second yeah. part of the cough is when you have a cold and your throat feels really raw. Yep. This kind of tea, which is just an example, combines uh, licorice root, slippery elm, marshmallow root, which are known to coat the throat and soothe that irritation, which can reduce coughing. And if you're losing the voice a little too, not a bad yeah, way to go? Yeah, great. Sore throat's great too. Okay, what are we Here have? we're going to talk about here are allergy remedies. Yeah. Now, Unlike something you just pop right away and take and your allergy is going to go away, not going to happen. Start six to eight weeks before allergy season hits and try quercetin, which ha comes from apples and onions. Okay. And you want to take this for a couple weeks as well as try some nettle. And what that does is calm your, it's an antihistamine, a These natural antihistamine. Little droplets for under the tongue? Yep, droplets, put in some water and drink it. Okay. Um, yep, and it can, what you can do is help you not respond so viciously to those allergens. Okay, finally we've got some brand here. I think we know where we're going. You know where we're going. It's a, yes, constipation, we don't want to talk about, we have to. If you're suffering from sluggish digestive tract, you want to up your fruit and veggie intake. <laughs> I like intake. that term a lot better. Yeah, fruit and veggie intake, you want to up that, of course, and add some flaxseed meal to yeah. your yogurt, or your salads, or whatever. That will get things moving, as will triphala, which is an Ayurvedic remedy known to soothe and support the digestive system. And be careful, they're gentle but they do work. And the brand muffin, right? And a brand muffin. Can't forget too. about a brand muffin. Right. Terry, thanks so much. Good Thank to see you. you once again. For more on...